Hello everyone. Welcome to my Sunday Facebook Live. Um, if this is your first time joining, welcome. Um, I normally go live at half past eight um, on a Sunday. And this week I will be sharing with you how I've made one of my artisan design team blog hop cards. So that blog hop went live this week on Thursday. Um, and if you haven't seen that, you'll be able to um, hop onto my blog and then um, you'll be able to check out everyone's blog post. So there's um, all 16 of us um, and loads of gorgeous cards made from the girls. Um, lots that I shall be, lots of inspiration. If I didn't already have the bundle, I would be buying it. <laughs> Too much gorgeousness. Hello everyone, morning in Australia, evening to everyone else. Evening Hazel, how are we? Oh, felt like a long, long weekend. So um, it's been lovely. We went to the beach yesterday. Um, felt like a proper spring day. So that was really nice. Morning, morning Marie, hello Lauren. Um, so yes, this is what I shall be sharing. Afternoon, Jenny. <laughs> is that a good, was it good, what's the treatment show, isn't it? Good, good morning, good evening, good night, good, or whatever it is. So yes, um, this is what I made for the, um, blog hop. So it's a handbag kind of wrap. Um, very easy to make it's just the whisper white card stock scored a couple of times and, and wrapped around um, what it has inside is the acetate boxes so there's two of them that are glued together and I've just double side taped them together and then you can get into both sides so there's four note cards on one side and four note cards on the other four are more Kind of fancy and then for our just same layout um quick and fairly simple <laughs> i'm not going to say they're simple simple because they've got some die cutting on but they are fairly simple um and as i say the handbag is just uh, a wrap so very very straightforward to do this doesn't unattach so if anyone's seen it on the book that is glued down um, because this slides slides in and out so they're the cards that I'm going to show with you share with you um, it was this one in particular actually so oh lovely Alison's glass of wine I watched I had my glass of wine ye yesterday actually we went um, down to Sea Lane Cafe and met up with my friend and of the, the whole family and um we were intending on having coffee and cake and then as we were walking into the coffee shop or the the restaurant we were like oh other people have got wine that looks like a really good idea so we had a, a glass of wine and some cake so why not <laughs> and sat out in the sunshine so it was very lovely right this is the card that I'm going to show you how I have made. Ah, Kim says she's going out. You have to watch it later on replay. So it's this one here that I'm going to be making. I've even got my sewing machine out for you all. So it's just beside me. Right, I'm going to stop gabbing and I will flip the camera around and start making. So... Um, let's get you there. Um, can you see that okay? Let's get some more light. More light, more light. Move my cup of tea. I should have sorted that out before. Is that better? Can we see that okay? Hi Dan, how are you? Um, we've had like spring days down here. I know a few people have commented when I said I was going live um, earlier. 
obviously not in the UK, but quite a few of you have got um, lots of snow at the moment. So, right. Uh, what I have done in advance of sharing this with you is I've cut out a doily. So the dies and I've cut out a template. So this doily has not come out of that template. So that is from these dies. You've got these dies in the doily set. So there's a selection, but it's these two here. So this die will do that. So it will just cut it into a panel. So it allows it to stay there in the piece. If you want that then to cut out, you've then got the outside piece that then does that outside cut. So you have a choice with these. You can then cut it out or you could layer it. And obviously you can then add extra layers. If you keep putting that back through, you could you could cut out the whole of that back um, piece, um, which is what they have done with one of the samples in the catalogue. So in the catalogue, they have made this card and that is with that die multiple times over the back of a piece of crushed curry cardstock, which is beautiful. Um, so that's your template. And that is your doily. I do, I do like a doily. <laughs> and with that die, you can obviously have as many as you want. So it's great value to have that in your stash. Right, I have used so my colours came from this ribbon, which is Coastal Cabana and Granny Apple Green. It's double sided. Um, so really nice ribbon. Um, so I'm going to use... I don't know if I... Oh, I put the Bermuda Bay there anyway, but I've got the Coastal Cabana and the Granny Apple Green. Post a banner, honey apple, and this is the shimmery white cardstock, which is good for watercoloring. Um, I'm just going to, yeah, good. So this is just literally just swoosh that across there, and then we'll get some of the green and add that on so you can go as heavy with the colour as you want um, and I've just blended that out to pale white so that you've got the coastal cabana and then the green and then kind of white on that edge uh, let me grab my chamois uh, just wipe my brush through So I will let that dry because I'm going to pop that through an embossing folder. So while that just dries, I'm going to do the paste part. So although this card looks quite fancy and there are quite a lot of techniques to it, you absolutely could duplicate this. So with the shimmery white card, that's cut to a normal base. Use that as a template. And we're going to use the... As this so this is the shimmery white embossing paste so, just pull that up so you can see how nice is that um, this I'm just going to take some of this and then just spread that over we don't need to be too fussy with this um, and there you have how gorgeous is that so that gives you that background effect so, and then we'll do that across this side as well the nice thing with this paste is it dries really quickly so you obviously it's great for your project because it will dry really quickly 
that template would be good to use again. I think eventually it will kind of get clogged up, um, in which case you'll just need to cut yourself another one out of some cardboard uh, cardstock. Um, but it would be good to go for quite a few more times. I'm going to take the worst off of that and then just scrape that paste just a bit further down into the pot um, and just make sure that's nicely sealed. Um, I'll deal with that spatula later. It might take a bit of scraping. If you were to go and wash it now, it would be absolutely fine. It would come off um, easily. So we've got those two bits drying. Let's just move that out of the way. Then I have cut the sentiment uh, friend. And this is from the Well Said. So it's got coordinating dies and a whole load of words. It's got a lot of words. So I haven't mounted these up yet. I just haven't had time. So for you, the one that I want. And that is going to be stamped onto a scrap of white in the Coastal Cabana. Absolutely, I wasn't even checking if I was upside down or not because that's going to get cut out so it doesn't matter at all. So that is getting chopped. So for you, friend, because what I thought is rather than having a birthday card, I'd have one that said for you, friend. And then what I can do is I can have a scroll back through the comments from this evening's Facebook Live. And to anyone that has commented and kind of joined in with the Facebook Live, I will pick somebody out and send this card out to you. So um, this is nearly dry. I'm going to just heat this. Hey, Justine. I'm going to just heat this to get that dried. Um, a bit quicker. that a quick blast as well. Because I am going to um, pop this through the sewing machine so I don't want this paste to be wet at all. It really is. It would... Um, it really is gorgeous. It would be gorgeous in so many different colours, but um, just such a pretty doily. And obviously, because you've got the dye rather than um, buying the doilies in packets, you can cut it out of the shimmery white. So that allows you to add the colour. I'm just going to do this off camera just because I've got lots of bits on my desk. But this is the subtle embossing folder. Um, it's got like ridgy bits on. I'm going to just pop the doily in there and then just run that through the shop. So that will just give it some extra texture. Um, just wind that through. There we go. And that, can you see that? It just makes it look thicker. I really like that. So that's the doily. Um, and then I've got this flower piece. So this flower piece was cut from the well said words. So this is the die, the die, the die set, the die set that comes with all those. So you've got loads of combinations of words, sympathy, friend, thanks, birthday, baby, you've got loads. But not just the words, what you've got in this set as well is a few of these extra elements. So you have got a swoosh, like a flowery 
flourish. Evening, Janet. How are you? You found me. Um, the leaves, the little birdie and the butterfly. You've got an ampersand, explanation mark, and then these little flowers here. So I'm going to just pop them off because I want to use those. They are tiny. So it's just being mindful that they don't go walk about. Um, and then, is that a piece of... So this is a scrap piece of shimmery white. I'll get there, I promise. So we've got just a bit of colour on that. That's lovely. Damn it, found me live. Uh, right. I've got a pokey. So these little flowers, I'm just going to pop on to those swooshy bits and then I will just run that through the big shop as well. The nice thing with this is you get three in the set. So if you want to do multiples of these, you have got three dies. Um, so you're not having to wind them back and forth one at a time. Lauren, don't they just? Those two colours are just like the perfect combo. So it's Coastal Cabana and Granny Apple Green. They just look fab. Uh, all right. That one, that one, the final one. So I'm going to put these dies back so that I do not um, lose them. So they are going back on my packet. <laughs> so you could use that for more, you could chop more out. So um, that's those. We've got those ready to go on as well. Now, here comes the sewing bit. So I've thought I'm going to try, try and show you the sewing bit onto the card. Let me see if I can get my angles of my, um, uh, see if I can get the angles of the camera to point in the right direction. So, um, let me just do this. Um, am I going to make the bag too? <laughs> not probably not this evening, Jacqueline. Um, I can quickly kind of show you the measurements. Um, that's absolutely not a problem. The front is made in exactly the same way as this card, um, and then you would just need the extra ribbon and things. So let me just um, manoeuvre. So that is now dry, and I have got that stuff. Let's not lose that. All right, I'm going to pop the doily kind of at that angle. All I have done with the doily is turned that over and chopped it. There was no measuring involved in that whatsoever. Um, and then I have put the tiniest dots of glue um, on the back but not anywhere near the edge where I'm going to be stitching because I don't want the glue getting on the machine. So that'll just be enough to hold it. Most of it, um, <laughs> they slurp it. I know, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Justine. <laughs> I forget how close I am to the camera. All right, let's move my very old and filthy sewing machine across. So can we, yeah, we can see that, okay. I'm gonna slightly angle you. Let's see if we can. Is that okay? Give me a thumbs up. I think we can see that, okay. I can kind of, I can see it on my screen, okay. I think we're good to go. This might be a bit noisy. Um, and my 
bulb is broken so I don't have any I don't have any light on my sewing machine so there we go it's just a bog standard sewing machine um, with now a very very blunt needle I guess white thread um I don't think it would absolutely I don't think I'm gonna put a disclaimer on that Jacqueline I don't know what I would say is um I've done a lot of sewing on my cards on this machine and I don't have any problems what I would say is it's very likely to blunt your needle you'll need to change your needle and keep one for card making and one for sewing um as for the machine itself no absolutely I think it'll be absolutely fine so oh that in I might go one further over leave the needle in and just pull that thread through Yeah, Rachel says the same, blunt needle, but that's it. It's good to go otherwise. And I went round twice, making it kind of jaunty, like squiggly. And I wasn't worried about the lines being straight. In fact, I was deliberately making them wiggle. No judging on my sewing machine skills. <laughs> uh, I literally I only have white thread in, white and black. That's it. Oh, there you go. Uh, done. So it is as sim simple and quick as that. And then all I have done with that is then... That did catch slightly. That's okay. I can straighten that out. And then all I've done with that is, oh, oh, there we go. Can you see that okay now? I turned you back. Uh, and then all I've done with that is pulled the threads through. And I have not bothered tying off or doing anything fancy on the back because it's only going on a card and not um, a shirt falling off me. So there you go. Tape it down. Done. There you go. <laughs> Danetta says, I don't even know if my old machine works anymore. I have to get it out and have a try. Um, what I would say is I have had people say they've tried with like handheld machines and stuff. I don't think they're up to much muster um, through the um, paper. I think you do need something a bit heavy duty. So... There you go. We've got, got some creative stitching going on there and it's not even doesn't even need to be straight, which is even better. All right, we're going to have it that way round. So the friend is going on there. And we'll just put some little tiny dots of glue. You could use the double-sided adhesive sheets when die cutting these out. Uh, that's going on there. The for you is the stitching does look lovely on the cards, doesn't it? It really adds something. Um, of course, if you didn't have a sewing machine, you know, you don't have to go out and buy. You could use the stitched rectangles to add like a stitched edge effect. Um, you could do something like that with a frame and add a bit of stitching that way. Um, for you, friend. And then we've got this lovely little um, swoosh. Karma says the stitching is really effective. Diane says it adds interest and texture. It does. It really, really does. Um, I'm going to just trim that. Behind there, 
Jacqueline says this was my first must-have from the catalogue. I know. It's one of those sets that you could easily overlook, I think, because it's just you kind of where it's the doilies and things. It's not it's not images as such. But I think these sets are they just go so far. They're great. They give you all the backgrounds and they can really then complement some of the other sets as well that you've already got in your stash. Angie, get it out of the box. Give it a go. <laughs> I think with the handheld, just go like one or two layers max. Don't go through loads because I think it might struggle. But I don't have one, so I don't know. Um, right, that is going on there. That one. So I just bent that up slightly for a little bit of extra and then put this extra one that's all right Liz um uh I was only making I'll, I will show you the bag measurements if I can remember them myself I may need to uh look them up on my blog <laughs> um and then we'll do some bling rhinestones the little rhinestones fit perfectly into the circles of those little flowers there you go that's the front of those um and then we'll do fix white uh actually my card i made originally was on white backing but i think if i go for coastal cabana it might make that pop out Hazel says 20 years ago, but not use it for anything. I don't think I've used I had my sewing machine from when I did like my GCSE textiles, so quite some time ago. And I now really use it mostly for um or only really for my paper craft to be honest. I'm not I, I did have a go a little while ago at making some um like patchwork kind of quilt quilting type things um but they were all straight lines <laughs> so that was i definitely couldn't make actual clothes i'll stick to the paper craft uh i might use some double-sided tape actually just because it's a bit bumpy although tape would be i will use the tear and tape <laughs> yeah, just the other year, in fact. <laughs> uh, Joshua was saying to me the other day, how old are you, mummy? I was like, oh, 21. He's like, oh, everyone says that. Like, he's nine. <laughs> uh, like, that's because it's true. <laughs> uh, did make me chuckle. Oh, everyone says that. <laughs> like you're so not fun funny mum <laughs> uh, right I think we've got enough tape we've got enough tape uh, get that Sure, in the tape of oh, fingers on that one. There we go. Uh, I'll sit that on there, just gently rest it over, and then when I'm happy that that's in position, then I can start pushing that down. So that is then in place. <laughs> so, that just makes it look different as well doesn't it it really makes it pop out so quite a different look i like the white but the the coastal cabana makes that pop so for the bag so um we're looking at the measurements of the bag so the um 
When did I do the bag? Did I put the measurements on my... Uh, yes, I did. So, um, the bag was... For those that would like to know the measurements. Um, that's those. Let me just move you up a bit higher. Can I see that okay? So... The Coastal Cabana is such a lovely colour, Sharon. Um, okay, so we have got... It was around a little while ago um, as one of, like, the in colours. I'm just going to move that light. It's shiny. One of the in colours. Um, and then it retired, but it came back um, into the main catalogue this year. So I was very excited to have that back. Uh, so we're going to cut the width of the Whisper White to seven inches or 17.8 centimetres if you're a centimetre person. I like to mix and match, as you know. <laughs> uh, Lauren says, when I fold my car bases, have I scored first or do I just fold? It depends if I'm being lazy or not. Um... If I'm being lazy, I have the bend and use the bone folder technique. So I put it together like so, no scoring. And then I just take the bone folder and give that a fold down. Um, if I was sort of mass doing, I might get my my score out and score them. And they would they would absolutely have a nicer, like a neater fold. But I'm quite happy with that. So there you go. That is seven inches and it's going to be 11 inches or 20, uh, 7.9, just under 28 centimetres, 11 inches. And then it has been folded or scored at four and three quarters, six and a quarter which is just, if you've got a Stampin' Up! trimmer, it is on that grey line there. So that leaves the gap there as an inch and a half. And that is then the right width for your acetate. So that is the bag kind of base. So really, really, really simple. And then your handles were made or are made from this piece here. So this was the piece we cut off the length of the A4. And they are... Um, you could cut them at a centimetre each if you wanted them skinnier. Or I've just laid that in the centre line. So you've got handles like that, but that actually that's not very central. Uh, a centimetre and a half, that piece is. So let's see if I can get this going at a centimetre and a half. No pressure. <laughs> oh, is this going to go? Centimetre and a half, let's see. like so and then with the handles I've just twisted them so just bring them up and in and then they've just glued behind there um and then you could just make your like your banner pit your not banner your buckle piece just to go across the center just again out of a piece of white and then decorate that up and you can have that as wide or as narrow as you like um that is three centimeters three inches three inches centimeters would be like that wouldn't it um and you can just eyeball how far over um sharon says am i scoring and cutting without changing blades i am i am i am so on the stamping up trimmer you've got your score and then you've got your cut and that pops out of the way and it pops out of the way at the bottom so you can have both on at the same time. 
So with this, you can cut, move that out your way. And then you've got the scoring as well. Um, there you go. So I hope that helps with the idea of those. It would make, you can make a skinny handbag as well. So you could do just the one um, acetate box if you didn't want the wider the wider bag. And then with those, I, li I, have, I have stuck that together. So that's gone on with uh, double-sided tape. Um, so that has gone on. And then you could decorate that up as you want. The decoration I have on the bag on my blog is the die from the doily set. So I've decorated and everything first and then put the buckle on afterwards, but that has then sealed that together. Like so. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, this bit here, it's still got Coastal Cabana in it from when I made that. So the um, buckle on that is from this die here. And that's in the doily set as well. But isn't that pretty? And then it's just been lined up with some rhinestones. Oh, just knocked my handle off. Okay. <laughs> no. There you go. Right. Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. I thought it would um, give you a, an idea of how that card was made. Let me uh, flip you back around because I've just got... Um, there we go. Uh, if you do um, have a go, I'd love to see them. Um, if you're not already, you can join on the Coastal Craft, uh, Craft Forum on Facebook um, and share your um, makes and things on there. If you have a go at making the handbags, I would absolutely love to see them. So you can share them on there. Um, the other thing to say is if I already have your name down, don't panic, you are definitely on my list, but my all day event is now sold out for the 10th of May. Um, if you think, ah, oh, I've missed out, um, and you're local, I'm going to run another day on the 19th of May, so that's a Sunday, um, but there will be limited spaces because it's going to be in my studio here or conservatory um so it will be here but i'll be sending out a newsletter with details on that later this evening um and i think that's it um uh, next coffee and a card is the 8th of march so if you're um local again to fontwell and denmans come along love for you to come along and make a card um feel free to come and join us have a cup of tea cup of coffee um and make a card um and otherwise if you're not local and other places in the <laughs> in the world i will be back with you next sunday for another facebook live share um and i will also put this up on um youtube as well so if you're watching the replays thank you very much um i do appreciate that um and for everyone who has commented i'm gonna have a quick scout through those comments just now and then just randomly pick out some names um and i will pop this card um in the post out to you so have a fabulous week everyone and i'll see you next week bye